And in Colombia, citizens went to the polls Sunday to elect governors of the 32 state departments, as well as local councilors, members of the regional assemblies, and also mayors. It has been labeled a crucial and historic election. Our correspondent in Bogota now, Natalia Magadita, with the latest on the election. Colombians have headed to the polls amid hopes of peace. These are not just the first local and regional elections since the peace process began in 2012, but also for many it might very well be the last elections amidst the armed conflict. I hope we can vote in peace and that these are the very last elections after 50 years of war that we have to go to the polls within an armed conflict. The elections took place among an unprecedented reduction of violence. However, corruption and reports of vote buying appeared to some political leaders as a demonstration of the faults of Colombia's electoral system. A system that continues to be deeply corrupt, anachronistic, and which allows that those who hold the economic power, manipulate polls and influence the media outlets, end up holding the popular elected positions. Those who were elected as governors and local authorities will have a crucial role in implementing the peace agreements. Now, regarding the second most important post in Colombia, right-wing Enrique Peñalosa was elected as the new mayor of Bogota with 33% of the vote. Peace must be constructed in the territories and that's why the local elections are so important. Now, what is that Bogota is so important? Because Bogota has a 20% of Colombia's population and the public opinion here matters in terms of endorsement of the peace agreements, but also in terms of making Bogota the capital of peace. Shortly after Bogota's new mayor was announced, the leftist candidate Clara López conceded defeat and insisted on the importance of continuing working for peace, something that peace advocates hope the newly elected mayor of Bogota can abide by. The real peace is the one that we have to construct on the basis of the social justice. The results of this election will set up the new political map in Colombia, a scenario that will be accompanying not just the final stage of the negotiations in Havana, but also the endorsement and implementation of the agreements once a final peace deal is reached. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogotá.